Hello everyone! So I just wanted to make a video showing you guys the new tutorials in Dead by Daylight. So you'll notice that we have this option here called Help in Tutorials and it has this new icon. And they have the game manual which is just you can read like all the information. But then they have this new thing called Survivor How to Play and Killer How to Play. So first, let's go over... Uh, survivors. You may hear my keyboard. I apologize. It's the um, pains of having a mechanical keyboard. They are very loud. Okay, so we have Welcome to the Fog! Dead by Daylight is an asymmetric game that is played in trials between up to four survivors and one murderous killer. As a survivor, your main objective is to escape the trial and live another day. Repair the generator, wow. This is very bright in the tutorial as well. A 99 generator, huh? Well, not 99. In my explorations, I found that these strange machines were the key to my survival. The more light they produced, the closer I became to my freedom. That's from Benedict's notes. So that's cool that they're introducing some of the lore in here. Escaping the trial. Notice the objective information in the bottom left of the screen. With the final generator complete, the switch is powered and the exit gate can be opened. In most matches, there will be a total of five generators to complete. So now we gotta open the exit gate. But, like, I oh, my tie went through my back. Like I was saying before, that's cool they were putting the lore inside the actual tutorial, so that way you don't kind of just Google it and look on their Wikipedia page or go to their website to figure out what lore is. You can learn it in the game. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> Interesting transition. Certain actions may occasionally produce a skill check. Escaping a trial alive will require a combination of teamwork and competence. Failing to time skill checks consistently may make survival more challenging. So this generator is not as complete. The entity worked to keep me on my toes, or at least keep me distracted. Either way, I was given the opportunity to avoid disaster. Hey, I wasn't finished. Well, you guys can pause the video and finish reading that. It's because I'm reading out loud. So, very basic tutorial. And, um... New survivors can blow this generator up countless times. There's no exigate sound. Oh, you don't have to open it again. Your survival in the trial may be hindered by a murderous killer. His only goal is to sacrifice as many survivors as possible. Use every resource available to avoid being in the presence of the killer. Listen out for the terror radius heartbeat. It may help you recognize when the killer is nearby. Ah, oh, it's a killer! Again, my senses have proven to be the key to my survival. If my heartbeat rings in my ears, the killer is close. If I see the red state in my surroundings, the killer is even closer. Uh, he can't get me! It's it's like he's a zoo animal behind the cage. What? What are you trying to hit, buddy? <laughs> so will you follow me over here? Escape the killer's terror radius. This is a really long road. Okay, let's let's go. Beat a boo. Will he be released? No. Okay. Stealth is usually the best way to keep from alerting the killer to your presence. Crouch down and move quietly to stay hidden from the killer. 
Remain undetected. Oh, I kind of want to set off the crows and see what happens. Ah! <laughs> Running through the environment will create scratch marks and may alarm wildlife, alerting the killer to your location. Okay, nothing happened. The crows just flew away. <laughs> I guess I don't get the bonus. Wow, everything's boarded up. Why would I want to go in here? The basement! The stairs lead to the basement. It may be possible to find tools that are crucial for survival down there. So we're going to chess. There's no leather face down there, is there? It's a raid! Or something! Unfortunately, the basement is also a highly dangerous place for the survivor to be caught. What is that? There's no chest down here. Oh, it wants me to go in the locker. Oh, it's not a wraith, it's just some... Um... Oh yeah, let's hide in the only locker. <gasps> no! I shall not despair, for my life is not yet forfeit. No! So you don't get to see him pull you out? Oh, no! If you're hooked by the killer, your options are limited. You can risk escaping the hook yourself, however, each field attempt will reduce your health and speed up the sacrificial process. Find a way to escape. I attempted this escape many a time, much to my own folly. It was a fool's quest that resulted in more pain than it was often worth. <gasps> Meg! Hey there. Are you gonna heal me? No. Injured health state. In an injured state, survivors make more noise and leave patches of blood that the killer can follow to uncover your location. While injured, you are also much more vulnerable to the killer's attacks. One more hit will put you into the dying state. <gasps> oh, what? Would you look at that? A chest! But no more locker. Hmm. I'm sure there's something um, in here, like a, a gray medkit, right? Oh, would you look at that? These tools, but poor replica shows supplies. I have to take every advantage I could to survive in this forsaken nightmare. This doesn't have enough charges, though, to heal me to full. Or it does? Now I have to do one full generator. Uh, crouch walk up the stairs, he won't find you. I got 77 basement time. <gasps> Another survivor has been caught and hooked. Rescue the survivor while the killer is away. Well, we gotta walk over so he doesn't hear our scratch marks. Because that's how you see scratch marks. I mean, hear them. Well, the killer is a ghost. And then, um, they forget the part where you teabag someone on the hook. Okay. <laughs> Healing others. Though the survivor is no longer in immediate danger, they are injured and require attention. Survivors may heal each other without the use of special items. However, First aid kits can help speed up the process. Well, I don't have a first aid because I used to on myself. I mean, I had no choice. What happens if I fail? Failing a skill check may stall the progress in your current action and notify the killer of your whereabouts. Listen out for the audio prompt that a skill check is about to trigger. I healed you! Teamwork. As a survivor, teamwork is crucial to your success in a trial. Working with others helps speed up generator repairs and healing wounded, wounded teammates. Are you gonna follow me, Meg?
So you're not gonna come over here till I touch this. Okay. <laughs> Enough with the one taps. This is very bright though. This is, um, terrible. Can I have another skill check, please? Nope. Escaping the trial. Notice the objective information in the bottom left of the screen. With the final generator complete, the switch is powered and the exit gate can be opened. In most matches, there will be a total of five generators to complete. Additionally, a hatch has appeared somewhere in the environment. Normally, a certain number of completed generators are required before the hatch appears. Normally, the hatch will only open by itself when only one survivor remains in the trial. Escape the trial or escape to the hatch. I have stood at these gates many times before with the same sobering thoughts. What will await me on the other side? Whoop. Okay, let's find the hatch. Because hatches are cool, it's probably in the back. On one rare occasion, I encountered an alternative way to escape. It suddenly dawned on me that I was the only remaining survivor. Whoop. Hatch escape. Survivor tutorial completed! Congratulations, you have completed the tutorial level. Ooh. You get 25,000 blood points for finishing the tutorial. That is awesome! Because it gives new survivors a little... currency, if you will to start out and actually get more perk slots unlocked on the survivor they want to play, so... Or killer. That's really awesome. Uh, let's check out the killer tutorial now. As the entity commands... Okay. As a killer, your main objective is to attack down and hook as many survivors as possible. Normally, survivors can withstand two successful strikes, the first one injuring them, the second one downing them, and putting them into the dying state. Once they are downed, they can be picked up and carried to a hook, but be careful! They will often try to wiggle out of your grasp. Those devious survivors! See, so I could hit her, but I could just pick her up for the devious points. 500 devious. Oh, yes. Okay. And then we hang her. When a survivor has been stuck on the hook for an extended period of time, the entity is summoned forth, forcing them to struggle for their life. Hooking a survivor twice will force them into the struggle state immediately, or sacrifice them if they have already been in struggle state. Survivors that die on the hook are sacrificed to the entity and are eliminated from the trial. We gotta get the blood spatter. Survivor health. Okay. First one injuring them, the second one downing them, and putting them into dying. Once- okay, they already said that. A lunge attack gives you a slightly longer reach to take down survivors from a short distance, hold down the attack button to lunge. You mean not this? Where's that devious survivor? <gasps> They're camping a pallet! Ah! Dang it. Well, I'll just cut you off. Killers have several means of attracting and locating survivors. Look out for the scratch marks that survivors leave when they run. Injured and dying survivors also produce noises of pain and anguish. And leave a trail of blood that may lead you directly to their location. The voices, the meat it bleeds. Let's just break this and see if it says anything. How come I didn't get a prompt saying pallets can stun me? And also, I didn't think the AI would throw the pallet. I thought they were dumb. Look at that. She's running back and forth. Go, man, go! Wiggle, little worm, wiggle. She's not wiggling. Alright. Let's just sick her. If 
5% off. Or 4%, I mean. The survivor's main objective is to complete repairs on generators, open and exit gate, and escape. As a killer, you can slow survivor progress by kicking partially repaired generators. This action slowly but continuously regresses the progress that survivors have made in repairing the generator. Ugh! Hook Meg, hook Dwight, hook Locke, do not let the light in. Well, there's Dwight. I guess there's one for each corner. Hey! What you doing on this year generator? Oh, got grabbed. Certain survivor actions blah, 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 may be interrupted by the killer, while other situations may allow the killer to pick them up directly from bear traps or rattle lockers. Tap the attack button while directly next to the survivor performing an interaction to interrupt. Use these occasions to your advantage. Do not waste precious time. Find the others quickly. Well, I saw Dwight here. Of course, you need the Dwight in the locker. It wouldn't be a tutorial without that. The entity is please kill more meat. Kill the meat! Wow, she powered the last one! Notice the objective information on the bottom of the screen. The final generator complete, the switch is powered, and the exit gate can be opened. In most matches, there will be a total of five generators complete. Stop the survivors before they can escape. Hey, you, get off that exit gate there. You better not touch that gate! No! <laughs> Good thing she's not wiggling, because I don't think I can make it over there. So they have each grab situation. Maybe I should have seen if Meg was around. How come I can't see their health bars in the bottom left though? Oh, Claudette just died. Every killer has their own individual powers to learn and master. Each killer has a different way to track and kill their prey. Try them all and experiment with different combinations of perks and add-ons. Just check in. What about closing the hatch, eh? Killer tutorial completed! Congratulations, you have completed the tutorial level. And you get another 25,000 blood points. Obviously, you only earn these blood points for the first time you do the tutorials, so... Don't think that you can get a bunch of them by just spamming tutorials. Okay, so now I'll just hit leave. I assume it takes us back to the main menu. And let me see them BP. 51k now. Awesome. Well, there you have it, everyone. Those are the survivor and killer tutorials that will be coming to Dead by Daylight very soon. And they will be helping new players learn the game a bit better because it gives them a safe kind of environment to see what the basics are and not have to worry about instantly dying. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video informative, and as always, good luck out there in the fog, and see ya next time.